Ah, yes, StarCraft Ghost. When I first heard the announcement back in 2001, I was pretty excited. The concept was similar to Command and Conquer Renegade. You take a real-time strategy game series and shift perspective so you aren't an unseen general sending troops into the fray. You're a badass soldier expected to do the impossible. We learned the name of the main character, November Annabelle Terra, a.k.a. Ghost Agent X41822N, best known as Nova. A number of comics and books were made following her story, from when she was a little girl in a noble family, her parents doing all they could to prevent the government from learning about her psychic abilities, to when her life started to go to hell, and she ended up a crime lord's servant. As a sense of how fucked up her life was before she joined the ghost program, which was now under Manx Dominion, here is a quote from the book Starcraft Ghost Nova. She is being asked by a surprisingly understanding agent if she wants to enter the ghost program, and mentions up front that part of the procedure is a mind wipe. <clears throat> agent Kiltrian, I've killed 382 people, and felt 32 more, including my own family, die in my head. I can tell you everything about every single one of those people. All 414 of them. Including what they were thinking the moment they died. What makes you think I want to remember any of that? Yeah. Really says something that becoming a living weapon for a callous government was one of her better options. I didn't get any of the other books or comics. It was a little too depressing because Ghost was in development for five years, then indefinitely postponed. Yeah, pretty much everyone thinks the project is dead. It's just a lot of missed potential. Though for some reason the company itself hasn't uh, admitted that the project's cancelled. They even had a statue with a main character built in their office. <sighs> Still, I just can't resist commenting on some of the promotional material before we get into StarCraft 2. The way of the warrior is the path of shadow. The gift of the warrior is to perceive that which cannot be seen. The spirit of the warrior is to strike in a single moment. The destiny of the warrior is balance in all things. And when balance is lost, all that is left is the reckoning. Entertainment. God damn you, Blizzard. You turned Optimus Prime into a liar.
Okay, while I'll admit the graphics didn't look up to par with a good number of PlayStation 2 games, and what little we could see of the gameplay didn't impress me in any way, I would have liked playing it anyway. At the very least, I'd be interested to see why somebody who's supposed to be a Dominion agent was killing Dominion troops. Captain. Maybe they've retreated. Maybe. There are no maybes here, Lieutenant. They turned their spiny tails and ran away before the first dropships had set down. I want all the men assembled and ready to move up to the refinery. We're gonna take that objective and go home. But, sir, shouldn't we send up a scout team to... Yes, sir. Grandma's sewing circle could have handled this mission. So, anybody know the XO down there? Captain Buck. He's an idiot. <laughs> hey, Sarge. What's with the ghost? You got me. Don't say much. They never do. <laughs> Check this out. Hey, tough guy. What's with the loner crap? Why don't you come back here and sit with the real man? Smooth, Lister. Shut up. Captain Buck, I've got word from HQ that three dropships are en route with reinforcements. ETA is. Reinforcements? Yes, sir. Two squads and a black ops unit. Black ops? Hags, all we need here is blood, sweat, and the firepower of my Terran Marine Corps. Should I call HQ to cancel? Hell yes, Lieutenant. I've got this operation. You hear that? What? Who called in siege tanks? I want to know who called siege tanks onto my battlefield, Lieutenant. We ain't got no tanks here, sir. Mother Mercy.
Captain Buck calls in the cavalry. That's a first. He didn't even say please. This is serious, boys. It sounds hotter than Georgia asphalt down there. Keep your eyes peeled. It's way too quiet up here. We got company. Hostiles on our six. Put the pedal to the metal. a nice cutscene. About on par with the graphical quality from a Warcraft 3 cutscene. I can't help wondering, based on this, how much of the game was actually completed, though. Anyway, I'd say I've spent enough time on a game that wasn't and probably never will be released. Let's get into StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> 